Hi everyone, now we will learn how we can make API with the put method in Laravel. For that, first of all, we will make uh, a controller function, then we will define route. After that, we have to write some code for API. Then we will test our API uh, with the Thunder client and at last we will check our database table. Uh, for that, we can be sure like data is up getting updated or not with the API. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So first, let's go to the controller and define one function for put uh, uh, method. So let's go to the app HTTP controllers and then student controller. And let's define a function same as the add function. And now we can put the function name is update student because with the uh, patch and uh, put API methods, we are basically update the data in the database and then we have to use request type request parameter with a request class and then uh, so first let's check the route this is working fine or not so let me just write something update student function or something yeah and now let's go to the uh, routes api.php and there let's define one more route with the put method and there we can say that update student then in the second parameter let's use the student controller class and in the second element of array let's define the updated student function name all right so for to test it this uh, api route is perfect or not let's go to the uh, Thunder client create new request and there let's select the put method and there simply put there up uh, this the URL will be same for your host and there you have to check the URL whatever you are put in the uh, route name right so let's put it and click there you can see that update student function is getting called that means route and function is perfectly working fine so next thing what we need to do we have to pass the data right to the uh, this function uh, so that we can update the same data so what we need to pass there so uh, see these three things name email and phone number we definitely have to pass with that we have to pass the id also so that we can get to know which data we want to update right so first let's define their id and id let's say for now i want to update the uh, parker right so let me put the ID there 42 and it should be the numeric only because the type of this ID is integer, right? So you don't need to put this string like this, don't, no need to put there. After that, let's put their name, uh, name is same, we don't need to change it. Otherwise that will also get to ch uh, change. We can pass their Parker, after that let's pass the ID uh, email address also and last one is phone number phone and phone is basically double one double two so let me put there double one double two so if you will check the URL again this should be perfectly working fine and this is working so let's try to get the ID for a moment so now let's return there dollar student ID and if I just test it, you will see that whatever. Okay, so let me see what's wrong with it. Okay, so there we have to use request not student. And now you can see that ID is 42. Whatever ID we are passing there, let's say I'm passing there 100. We are getting the 100 there, right? So let's move back to it to the 42. We are getting this ID. So now so update the data first let's take a student or any variable whatever you want to take and just use student model there you don't need to create and use their new keyword to create the instance just use the uh, model name find and pass the id there request id all right now what you need to do dollar student we have to update the name right and that will be come from the request name and similarly we have to add two more things let me check why there is an error okay we have to put there equal to yeah then email 
and last one is basically you can say that phone number okay so uh, the next thing is we have to put a if condition if dollar student then save function we will use there return we can mention there even you can copy from there only it will save your time so we can say that student updated or student data updated whatever you want to mention uh, student not updated or something right so now let's see what's going on there okay so from there let's okay so let me change this phone number with the double zero double zero so that we can check is 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 it working or not and here you can see that student updated let's check the data there and now here we can see that student is double double zero double uh, double zero so let me change something else also if you want to change the id then you have to change the old details so i don't want to waste the time there so just put there uh, peter um, 321 or something and then just changing the address and number also and you will see everything is getting updated and perfectly working fine right so this is how let me just remove this and back, uh, do back with the previous data right so this is how we can uh, uh, make the put and uh, patch api to update the data in laravel if you still have any doubt any confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part and uh, in next part we will complete the uh, delete um, api also and after that we'll go to uh, like how we can provide the validation and all we'll learn this thing thank you so much thank you